Hello everyone, Mike here from MCW Finishes. Uh, today I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on using our paints and a little bit of history. Uh, first thing I want to do is to spray uh, one of our colors on a plastic spoon here. This is OD319, which is our late World War II olive drab for U.S. vehicles. Uh, I'm using a Badger 150 airbrush um, at about 15, 18 PSI. Uh, just uh, giving the spoon here a nice wet coat of our paint. I'm about two inches away and just giving it a nice even stroke uh, wet coat. Our paints are very hard to run. Uh, you actually have to really try to make them run. Uh, they, they adhere very well. Um, they just they go on great, they go on smooth, and the finish is fantastic. Um, painted that spoon there and you can see that it's a nice wet, wet coat. Um, it'll actually retain that gloss even though it's a military color and I'll get to the reasons for that here in a little bit. Um, the other thing that I've done here is that I have actually uh, painted a spoon previously and that's our, that's our gloss black. I just wanted to let it dry here just so I can show you some things uh, with it. Um, while well, I'm cleaning up my airbrush here, model car wool paints have been around for over 20 years. Um, they have been primarily uh, automotive colors and they are made factory correct using original factory formulas um, in acrylic lacquer. And that's what our paints are based on is uh, PPG acrylic lacquer. Uh, we use the original factory formulas that were that, that uh, were used to make all those great cars in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and our paints are an exact match to those colors. Um, I just ran some lacquer thinner through the airbrush here to clean it out. Uh, that's all that you have to do. You don't have to take apart your airbrush every time. Um, it just it just cleans up great uh, with just some inexpensive lacquer thinner. Our paints come pre-thinned uh, in the bottle. It's a one ounce one ounce bottle that is pre-thinned. It'll screw right onto your uh, Badger or Pache adapter. If you're using a suction feed, you can use a pipette to put it into your gravity feed. Um, I have an Iowata gravity feed that I use. I'll just put some in the color cup. When I'm done, I will just put some thinner in there, run some thinner through it, wipe it out, run a little bit more thinner through there to make sure, and it's done. I don't have to take it apart every time. Uh, our paints are very opaque. Uh, they have a lot of pigment in them, even though they're, they're pre-thinned and, and look very, very thin. They are very opaque. Um, that's why I have this, this black spoon here. I'm going to take our, our yellow color, this is our Air Force Chrome Yellow, and I'm going to spray the spoon. So, just to give you an idea here of uh, what we can do with it, I'm actually going to take a piece of duct tape to tape off this spoon, just to show you. Um, and this will show you how tough our paint is as well. This is just standard old white duct tape. And you can imagine this being the propeller on your airplane model. So we tape that off like so. Put that tape on there nice and good. And we will go ahead and spray this yellow right on there. A lot of people have trouble with yellows not, uh, not covering. Not so with the MCW paint. Again, give it a nice wet coat. I'm about two inches away or so. Um, and I'm just going to give it one one pass here. I'm going back over it a few times and like, like I said um, it's hard to make it run. It will if you try real hard. Uh, I'm using a medium tip and needle on my 150 so it's not like I'm using the real fine fine stuff but it's more than more than happy to do that. We got that sprayed. Let that dry for a second while I clean out my airbrush. Again, clean up is nice and easy. Take it out. Wipe off the tube. Run some paint uh, airbrush thinner through it. And, and again, we just use uh, just some cheap lacquer thinner. Uh, that you can get in any big box store. Um, that's great for just cleaning out your airbrush. Uh, for our paints, we use only automotive grade lacquer thinner um, of uh, varying drying times. Um, in our automotive colors, we use a faster thinner than we do in our military colors. 
Uh, since most uh, car colors you do in large areas at a time, um, the faster drying time is, is great. Uh, it, the paint is dry to the touch in minutes. So we cleaned out our airbrush, close up our paint, and we can take a look at our propeller spoon here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to peel off this duct tape, and duct tape doesn't give a good seal, but as you can see, we have a nicely tipped propeller. Um, and amazingly, that duct tape did not pull off any of that black. Um, it's painted right to the spoon, there's no primer there, uh, and, and a piece of duct tape on it did not take it off. In fact, it didn't even really leave any residue on the, on the uh, spoon. Back to our olive drab. Uh, we painted that, what, three minutes, four minutes ago? It is dry to the touch. That's the other nice thing about this paint. It dries so fast that you can handle it in five minutes. In fact, let's see how, how good it is. I'm going to take another piece of my duct tape here. I'm going to put this on here. Let's see how good it does. That's, that's less than five minutes ago that I painted that spoon. Nothing on the duct tape. No paint taken off the spoon. Do it again. It's on there. No paint on the duct tape. No paint off the spoon. Um, and there's no residue on the spoon. That is tough paint less than five minutes, you can mask off what you're painting and camouflage it. If you, if you need to do something in a hurry, no more waiting days for the paint to dry before you can mask it off. Superior coverage. I've got a yellow over black and it looks yellow in one pass. And it's almost dry. A little bit tacky. A little bit tacky. And that was about a minute and a half ago. We have over a thousand car colors uh, in our line, so we can match almost anything you'd want. We have a hundred plus colors in our military line, and that's still growing. Uh, we have uh, probably ten different olive drabs for, for someone that doesn't know what olive drab they want to use. We have our uh, the late World War II that I showed you, our 319. We have olive drab number 22, which is an early olive drab color. Uh, actually formulated by PPG for the, the government. Uh, we use that original formula for our early war olive drab. We have Korean War olive drab, we have Vietnam War olive drab, and we have NATO olive drab, uh, as well as our aircraft colors. Um, one other thing I want to show you real quick here is uh, we have a, here's Tamiya's uh, Easy 8 kit, um, base coated in our 319 olive drab. As you can see, um, it's still glossy. And that's uh, something that our paints are really good for, is that when they dry, they dry gloss. What this does for you is it helps uh, when you want to wash and put on your decals. You don't have to do that step uh, before you do anything. We have taken, eliminated that step of having to put future or any sort of gloss coat over it. Um, and it just saves you more time. When you can paint a model, mask it in 10 minutes, paint another color, mask it in another 10 minutes, paint a third color, and then 10 minutes later put an enamel wash over it and not hurt it. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. A lot of us have limited time and this saves time. Uh, the thing I wanted to show you is this has been painted a, um, a while ago, um, so it's fully cured, uh, but I wanted to show you how tough MCW paints are. Uh, I've got Tamiya liquid cement. Now, if any of you have ever dripped liquid cement on your painted model, you know what happens. You end up with a spot that's down to the plastic. Um, Tamiya liquid cement, 
but right here on the front of the hall. Wipe it off with my finger. There is no paint on my finger, and there is no paint removed from the hull of the tank. Now, there is a little spot. You can see where it was. Okay, it has blemished it, but that blemish will actually air itself out, and you could, uh, if you needed to, you could actually rub it out and take it away. Uh, that's how tough that paint is. Haven't taken any bit of paint off that hull, and uh, drips, rubbed cement right on it. That again is how tough our paint is. Um, there's not too much that I can, more that I can say. Uh, we've got a lot of the FS colors for your aircraft. Um, we have the basic military colors for uh, uh, Americans. We have uh, German colors, the, the three color camo. Uh, the, we have the German gray. Um, we have English uh, Eighth Army and uh, base color, and we've got more to come. If you have any questions, send us a message. Um, look us up on Facebook. Uh, look us up on YouTube uh, for more tutorials and, uh, and time-saving features. This is a great way to uh, get back into modeling. And like I said, I can't say that there's anything, uh, anything tougher than our paint out there. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.